There's an event that needs my attention, apparently. I see. Trolls? Oh no! I didn't dis- Oh no! Okay, time to visit my throne room and face the music. Enio, a half-elf merchant who recently appeared in the capital, falls to the floor in front of you. Jathal stands behind him, beside him, looking quite unlike her normal self. Usually cold and stiff, the face of the undead elf now, undead elf now burns with rage. Despite his near nearness to his furious undead captor, Enio looks concerned but unafraid. If you'll allow me to speak, blah 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 blah. I hope you can, half-blood. Otherwise, Jathal hisses and turns to you. Have I told you... The sad story of my death. It is most sad of- It is sad most of all because I do not remember how my life ended. I wandered exhausted through the wastelands beyond the borders of Kionin until I could barely see my path. I stopped to rest or perhaps I lost consciousness. When I came to my senses I heard the call of my goddess returning me from the dead. Was it poison? Magic? Illness? Whatever stole my life away had left no trace. I thought this mystery would haunt me forever but then I stopped- Enter the shop of this half-blood, seeking some reminder of Kionin, and what did I discover there? My very own dagger! Jathal shows you an elven-crafted dagger with a chipped blade and empty sockets where once gemstones adorned the handle. This dagger disappeared the same night I was taken by death. How could this half-blood have obtained it? Let him speak, Jathal. Anger will not help us learn the truth. That is why... Respecting your authority, I have brought this pathetic huckster here, rather than getting the truth out of him by my own methods. Thank you for, follow for allowing me to speak, Your Grace. The story is not very exciting, certainly not as exciting as my tale of the drunken- Yeah, I don't care about any of that. Yesterday, north of the city, I stumbled upon a dead boar. There was nowhere around, but the dagger was protruding from the miserable beast's neck. I don't know why the owner would have left it in the carcass. Perhaps the beast escaped from the hunter is taking along the weapon that had injured it. So I inadvertently decided to keep the item I had found, thanking my luck and never suspecting the price I'd pay for it. Where exactly did you find this carcass? In the vicinity of the old sycamore. Of course, I'm sure you know where that tree grows. I found the boar to the west of the sycamore, in the direction of the Thorn River. Huh. Jathol, listen to reason. If Enio was involved in your death, he wouldn't be openly offering your dagger for sale. Your words set Jathol on her heels. She frowns but calms down. Perhaps that is, that is logical. This one would have been... W would ha this one would have to be a useless fool to do such a thing, and useless fools do not survive the road. Still, his story should be verified. It must be, and in any case, the dagger may lead to my killer. Huh. Yeah, let's check NAO's story. I am grateful. It's important to me, and you, Half-Blood, you should p pray for our success. If you are lying, I shall find a surer way to get the truth from you. Intriguing. Today, a letter from Brevoy was delivered to the castle. It was written by Fredero Sinnet, a paladin from the Order of the Eternal Rose. It appears right to one of my companions who was brought up in his... What? What? 